Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on inserting a calendar into your Google site. Well, one of the first things that we need to realize is that if you have a Google Calendar, there is a setting in the Google Calendar that must be set to public before you can put it on a Google site. Let's just take a look at that real quick. So I'm over my Google Calendars and I have a number of calendars over here and you can create new calendars at whim. But let's take a look at this particular calendar and I'm moving my cursor. There's a little pull down menu here and I'll go to share this calendar. I want to make sure that this calendar is set to public. You have to have it set to public if you're going to put it onto a website. You can, of course, always invite individual people here to collaborate on that and to show up in their calendars. But this is the key feature. Make sure that that is set to public. So we'll click on save and make sure it's there. So let's go to a little sandbox here and play with inserting a calendar onto your website. So I have a page ready. Let's click on this little place, page called Classroom Calendar. And uh, a lot of teachers will like to put calendars on their sites for all kinds of activities and lessons and so on. So let's take a look at how I can put a calendar on this page. First thing I need to do, is, of course, is to edit the page and place the cursor where you would like the calendar to go. I'm going to move that cursor down a couple of times just in case I want to put some text up here in the top. And that cursor is flashing. I will go to the Insert menu and select Calendar. It's going to go over to my Google Calendars and take a look at all the Google Calendars that I have available. And I'm going to put it checked by the one that I'd like to insert and click on Select. This will bring me to a display box where I'll have a number of options on how I want that calendar to be displayed when people go to my website. So you can check and uncheck things, uh, whichever you would like to do. Be sure that you do check the time zone, however, and make sure that it is set to your particular time zone. Calendars are very, very particular about time zones. So I'll pop down here and find a good time zone for myself. And of course, the view. How would you like it to be viewed as a default when they go to that uh, website page so it's it's your choice and they can always change it once they get there let's just keep it the way it is and we can always come back and modify these later and i'll show you how let's click on save so our calendar is now inserted in the page you will not see it however until you click the save button let's go ahead and align that a little bit put it right in the middle of the page and we'll click on save once we click on save our calendar should be displayed and now your users can take a look at the information on the calendar and change that. But what if we want to get back to that dialog box and be able to make some changes? Let's go back and edit the page. If we click once on the calendar, we're going to get our tools again. There's our little gearbox, our properties. So now we're right back to the properties of that calendar and so we can check and uncheck things uh, as we wish. Click on Save. Save. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.